Hi everybody, this is Vitorials, and today we are going to create this seamless abstract cubic grid inside Adobe Illustrator. And uh, this uh, tutorial includes several steps. First of all, we are going to create the grid, then select two rows of cubes, apply a live transform effect, and the uh, last step, we are going to recolor it using global swatches inside Adobe Illustrator. It may sound complicated, but don't worry. We are going to create it with easy. Uh, if you have any question about this tutorial, please let me know in the comments form below. Let's get started with our new document. Go to File, New. I'm gonna size this document with 19, 20, and 10, 80. Click OK. Uh, next, I'm gonna turn off aligned pixel grids and increase the row size of my layer so everybody can see them easily. I'm gonna start with the line segment tool. So grab your line segment tool, hit once on your artboard and set the length of your line to 20, 2560 pixels and the angle to 90 degrees. Click OK, then click on this slash to set the fill color to none and leave uh, the stroke one point black. Make sure that you align to our board and align this uh, line to the left horizontally and vertically to the center. Then double click on your uh, move dialog box. Here I want to set 100 pixels for horizontal move and 0. For our vertical move, click copy to apply the change and then Ctrl D, Command D to create a bunch of duplicates to duplicate the transformation inside Adobe Illustrator. So I created a lot of them that uh, these lines is covered actually all of my entire artboard and I'm ready to create another line. So open your line, segment line dialog box, leave the length to uh, 2560 and change the angle to 30 degrees, click OK to create this uh, line and uh, next I'm gonna align this to the center and uh, go to my uh, move dialog box, double click on the selection icon. I want to set horizontal value to 0 and I want to work with vertical value and by setting it to 115, I'm sorry, 115.4 pixels, 0.4 pixels and click copy to make a duplicate and then Ctrl D to fill the entire artboard with this line. And my next step, I want to select all of these lines, all of them, create a new layer and uh, throw it on my new layer. Then I want to grab my re reflect tool or click O and I want to find an intersection near the middle of my artboard. Let's say here. For doing this, you may you need to be sure that your smart guides is turned on. Use Ctrl U to turn your smart guides on. And keeping this line selected, these diagonal lines, using your Alt key, click on this intersect. And then make sure that you're reflecting around the vertical axis and click copy to produce a duplicate. So we have the bunch of lines. I want to select all of them and start selecting our cubes with shape builder tool. So I want to select this cube, also want to select this cube this, this, and I want to select a lot of these cubes in a row so they are from start to the finish. 
Okay, and then I want to select this row and starting with these cubes. Of course, we can select actually two of these cubes only and then duplicating them in a row. But uh, once we have this grid, we can take advantage from this grid and selecting a bunch of them already. So, I want to delete all unnecessary stuff since I have these cubes. This line, this line, I want to also clear these lines and leave only of these two rows of cubes. They're looking pretty nice. I also want to make sure that all of these cubes are sitting on the one layer and uh, I also want to delete some artifacts from here. Place it on the layer on top. So we have this kind of cubes and our next step is to create a duplicate of these rows. And I want to use uh, a life effect inside Adobe Illustrator, so select all of your composition, go to the effect, distort and transform, transform, navigate to vertical move value, and here I want to set 115.4 multiplied by 3. I also want to set the number of copies to 2 and check preview. I'm pretty happy with this result. Click OK. Then I want to recolor this composition using swatches. Uh, go, so go to the windows, swatches. And here I want to use this green color. So first of all, I want to select all of these roofs. I want to select all of my cubes, then holding shift key deselect these sides and holding shift key deselect these sides. So I selected these roofs and I want to give them this dark green color. Let me show you. As you can see, it's applied for all of our duplicates. Now double click on your green swatch, check this option global. You can change also RGB to CMYKI and click OK. My next step is to navigate to my stroke and click on the slash to get rid of the stroke. Then I want to go to my top left corner and holding shift key, holding shift key I want to click on this, uh, holding shift key click on this watch panel. And uh, here I open the teens, uh, teens panel, I want to decrease, simply decrease the volume to 60% 60, uh, 60 and apply it to my roofs. Then I want to select my forward sides. For doing this I want to select all of my sides and deselect my back sides. And from this moment I want to speed up a little bit my tutorial because I I want to apply the same steps uh, here. We get rid of the stroke. Uh, we apply the, this swatch here and then get rid of the stroke. And then I want to go navigate to my top left and set the value in this time to 80%. Click, click enter and here we are. Then my last, uh, my last back sides, I want to select them with uh, uh, magic man tool select all of them I want to apply the same uh, swatch here I want to swap fill and stroke and here I do not want to get rid of stroke instead I want to increase the stroke weight to 25 navigate to my stroke panel and here I want to click on this icon align stroke to inside to achieve this result. If, uh, if you can see I have this issue, but don't worry, we get rid of this uh, site by preparing our seamless pattern. And for doing this, grab your artboard tool, 
reduce the width of my composition. Here on one half of this cube and here I want to get rid of these cubes at all. Then I want to move this to the bottom and this to the top and here I want to get rid of one cube, set it up, up to here and as you can see we created this interesting pattern and for, uh, my last step is go to my rectangle tool cover with my rectangle cover entire artboard select all of my composition with this rectangle use my right mouse button key and make clipping mask and let me check if we have a seamless a seamless background yes we have this seamless and i also want to copy this with my alt key and we have this seamless so if you like this tutorial please do not hesitate to thumb up subscribe share it with your friends I want to thank you for following to the end, I will come back to you very soon, have a nice day.